They are the dog once owned by Celtic royalty and nicknamed the Gentle Giant. Liza is downtown at Riverscape to introduce you to some amazing animals that you can meet at Celtic Fest this weekend. Hello, Liza. Hey, Sally. So I'm here with some new furry friends. These are the Irish Wolfhounds. So, Kelly, these are the tallest breed of dog. You obviously have a very, very big one. How big do they typically get? Um, typically, females are about 125. Males average about 185. This guy... It's 240. <laughs> 240. That's just wild. So, also, um, Carolyn, oh, wait. Um, Carolyn, so, um, can you tell me just about the demeanor? Um, gentle when stroked, fierce when provoked. They're really laid back with kids and people. And I am use a cane and they maneuver with me. Yeah. And they love older people. They don't. Mm -hmm. You know, get into that with yeah. with the but they'll play. They face fight. They jump up and run and and they'll just kick it up. <laughs> so so fun. So like Nicole was saying, the demeanor is they are sweet sweet dogs and but they weren't always this way. So can you tell me a little bit about their history, Carolyn? Well, sometimes when their owners went into battle, they would fight mm -hmm. and sometimes they were used to guard stuff. But their number one job was hunting. They'd hunt deer and they would hunt wolves. That's why they're called wolfhounds. Mm -hmm. These guys were always the dogs of the elite, kings and chieftains. So if you had one of these in your house, it was like having a Lamborghini parked in your driveway. <laughs> oh, I love that. And so you guys have a club name, and I, I know it's on the back of your t-shirts. Can you tell me what it is and what it means? It's Coo and Crack, and it means hounds and good times. Oh, how fun is that? So, I mean, right now, you can tell these are kind of, they're, they're brown, grayish. What is their typical coloring? They can be lots of different colors. They can be white, black, uh, red brindle, uh, wheaten, uh, but a lot of them, many of them are gray. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So cool. And where can people check you guys out this weekend? Um, <laughs> sorry. sorry. In the pavilion, right by the fountain. Great. Okay. So, I mean, and that's, that's the thing is that they're so fun to play with. And also they get along well with families, with kids. Mm -hmm. What is a good person, like what's a good type of family that would be able to adopt one of these dogs? Um, anybody with kids or older people, they do really well. Um, they seem to fit themselves to the family. That's so cool. I love that. Well, you can definitely check check these guys out and their owners over at the pavilion under the trees because they're going to need to keep cool. Back to you, Sally.